What's up, Journey Loves? Welcome back to the Zen Den. And today I have such an epic surprise for you. So today's class is a foundations flow, and it's going to be a compilation of all of the first week poses from the 30 pose journey. So let me just rewind real quick and get a few things out of the way. Number one, if you love yoga and you want more of it, please subscribe to the channel. Number two, if you're wondering what the hell the 30 pose journey is, check out the description below. You can sign up. And number three, for all my 30 pose journey goers, this one's for you. Make sure you practice it and start to really integrate all those poses from your first week of the journey. With that said, unroll your mat and let's get started. Alrighty, you're on your mat. Please take a standing position and we will start in a Tadasana Mountain Pose, first pose of the 30 pose journey. So bring the big toes together to touch, let the heels slightly separate. You know what to do, start to draw the energy up through the feet, the legs into the core, broaden through the chest, let the arms drape down by your side as you send energy up through the crown of the head. Close those eyes and let's turn on that breath, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose, Continuing that breath, building heat, starting to circulate the prana, the life force through our body. Three more rounds of breath. Last round. Take another inhale through the nose. Exhale, just glide the chin down towards the chest and breathe into the back of the neck. Next inhale, sweep the head over to the right, breathe into the left side. Exhale back through to center and inhale all the way to the left, continuing this movement for about five breaths, exhaling to center, inhaling to the other side. If you feel comfortable enough, you can let the head drop all the way back, slowly circle all the way around, but really making sure you're comfortable with that movement. We're here for two more rounds of breath. Last round. And everyone meet back and center, chin is still to chest, and inhale back up to a neutral spine. If your eyes were closed, go ahead and open those babies up. Inhale the arms out to the side nice and wide. And exhale to hug the right arm underneath the left, coming into an eagle arm. So Garudasana, you're either full binding or half binding here. Here's the half bind. The full bind is wrapping all the way around, so both palms touch. You're elevating the elbows in line with the shoulders, and you're really squeezing the arms into one another, making a lot of space in the back here. Three deep breaths. Last breath. Exhale to unwind the arms. Inhale, take them out nice and wide. Expand across the chest and exhale. Left arm comes under right this time. You choose half or full bind. Three breaths. Breathing into the backside body as you press the arms into one another. Last big inhale. Exhale to slowly unwind, inhale to open that chest, and exhale, hands down through heart center. We'll move through a few half sun salutations. Inhale the arms up to the sky, gaze at fingertips, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale to bend the knees and slowly lower the chest, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, look out to the horizon, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift, flat back, energy through the crown of the head and exhale to fold. Inhale, drive down through the heels, use the belly and the legs, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, gaze at the fingertips. We're going right back down. Exhale your way down to Uttanasana, forward fold. Relax the head and neck. Inhale, lift up halfway. Hug the belly in, roll the shoulders back, and exhale to fold. Inhale, root to rise. Come all the way up, stand nice, tall, and proud. 
Last time, exhale your way back down. Core engages as you descend down. Let it go, Uttanasana. Inhale up, Ardha. Exhale, lower down. Relax and melt. Inhale, rise all the way up. Gaze at those fingertips. And exhale, hands down through heart center. Take two centering breaths. Another inhale. Open the mouth this time and let it go. Drop those hands down by your side. Make sure you're at the top of your mat and let's get flowing. This is a flow, so we will move a little bit quicker. Really tune into your breath, honor your body, do what's right for you, okay? But I will be cueing a little bit faster. On an inhale, take those arms high. On an exhale, forward fold, relax it down. Inhale, out to the horizon, flat back. Exhale, step it back, plank pose, and we hold. Spread the fingertips wide, engage and activate through the arms, broaden across the back from shoulder to shoulder, hug the ribs in, belly up, melt tailbone down, so many cues, activate through those legs and energy out through the heels. If you're on that 30 pose journey, you know all about planks, so start to integrate all the things you learned on that journey. Five more breaths, you got this. Two more rounds. Stay strong here. You can always drop the knees to modify. Last round. And then exhale, everyone drop the knees. Slowly lower down to the belly, hugging the elbows into the sides as you do so, learning how to really activate that chaturanga-like shape with the elbows. Once you get down there, slide the forearms in front of you for Sphinx Pose. Sphinx Pose, we're directly bringing elbows under shoulders, Wrists in line with elbows, big toes together to touch, activate through the legs, pubic bone stamps down as you pull the heart through. Three deep breaths. Awakening and energizing and strengthening the backside body here. Last big inhale. Exhale to lower the chest down, hands come to the low ribs, curl back, toes under, power up, plank pose. Take it back, downward facing dog. First one, yeah? Pedal those feet out. Do whatever you gotta do here to find organic, feel good. You love your body, you love your practice movements. It's gonna look different in everyone's practice, so really honing in on what it is you need. I'm a major pedaler. I love pedaling the legs. Two more breaths wherever you are in that down dog. Making sure you're really activating up through the arms and the spine, up through the sitting bones, hugging the core and the ribs in as you open and stretch through the hamstrings. One more round of breath. And exhale to bring the knees, soften them down to the mat, coming into a tabletop pose, running through three cat cows. So again, making them your own. Inhaling to open the front side body. Exhaling to curl and round up like an angry Halloween cat. Inhale, open. And exhale, round. Last time, inhale, come forward. And exhale to round. Neutral tabletop pose. Send the right leg straight back and high. Activate through the toes, roll the right hip down, line with the left, hug the belly button up and in, and then gaze forward, left arm extends, and we hold for five, four, three. You got this, reach from heel to fingertips, two, one. Listen carefully, left hand comes down to the mat. You're going to take the right knee and slide it behind the left knee, coming into Gomukhasana. So sending the heels out to the edge of the mat as you slowly lower the hips in between the feet, yeah? So if you're super flexy, you're gonna be able to have both sitting bones down on the mat with the feet extended out wide. If you're like in this pose and dying, start to hug the heels closer to the body, 
making sure you can feel both sitting bones rooting down here. Once you got it and you feel pretty good, sit up nice and tall. And on an exhale this time with a straight spine, so flat back, we're not rounding, hinge forward from the hips. You're gonna feel it immediately on the right hip, yeah? Energy through the crown of the head. One more round of breath. Open the mouth and let that tension go. <sighs> Inhale, open the eyes. If you closed them, reach the hands forward. Actually, just unwind the legs. Yeah, <laughs> that's easier. And come into a tabletop position again. Here we go, sunbird, chakra vakasana all over again. Send the left leg straight back and high. Energy through the feet. Roll the left hip and down, down line with the right. Hug the core in and send the right arm straight out. Super active, such a long line of energy here. Breathe through your body for five and four and three. You got this, two, one. Right hand comes down. Start to hug the left knee behind the right. Take the feet wide and slowly walk the hips back. All righty. Make sure you settle in, find what you need here. Big inhale, draw energy up through the crown of the head. Exhale the flat back to slowly bring it down. Finding where you need to rest and stop. It's probably a really com or uncomfortable sensation you're feeling and breathing into that tension space. On the inhale, rise back up, uncurl those legs, and we'll meet in downward facing dog. Tucking the toes, sending the hips nice and high, relaxing the head down, feeling really good here. So we stretched a little bit, our down dog sort of feeling like organic, maybe not yet, but we'll get there, right? On the inhale, I want you to roll forward to plank pose, stack shoulders over wrists, engage the body here. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward, plank pose. We got one more time after this. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, roll forward. Listen carefully, this time exhale the knees down. We're gonna take five chaturanga push-ups. So lift the toes off the ground. Already engage everything here that you can up through the midline. Take an inhale breath to let shoulders pass wrists. Exhale, bend at the elbows, let them build that shelf for you. Chin comes down, come back up. Here we go again. Inhale, shift, exhale, melt. Inhale, lift. Exhale, melt. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. I know these are tiring and exhale to lower. This time all the way down, slide the forearms forward. Sphinx pose again. Three deep breaths here. Really activate by rolling the shoulders onto the back, peeling the heart open, pulling your belly button through the gate of the arms. Two more breaths. Last inhale. Exhale, slowly lower, and we take it back to child's pose. Yay! <laughs> a little bit of a break here. Knees go wide, big toes touch. Extend the arms really long and forward, and then melt the forehead down. <sighs> Coming here to recalibrate, reconnect, refuel. Just letting the chest melt open as you're stretching through the fingertips and the arms. One more breath. Alrighty, meet me in Downward Facing Dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana, and we'll roll through one flow on each side, okay? So inhale that right leg back and high. Actually, excuse me, bring it back down. Before we start, we're stepping up into Virabhadrasana 1. So to begin, I want you to pivot your left foot to a 45 degree angle to get you set up. Inhale the right leg back. 
Exhale, knee to nose, hug, plant it between the feet. Before you even lift off, we talked about this in the 30 pose journey. Yeah, we're gonna build our base. Activate back through that left leg, send energy through the knife edge. Hug muscle to bone on the front here. And then inhale, rise up, Virabhadrasana one. Really pushing through that knife edge of the foot to allow the hips to square forward. Rotate open and find a lot of length in the spine. Hmm, feeling really strong and powerful here. One integrated line of energy. We're gonna hold it for two more deep breaths. Last one. On an inhale, rise up a little bit and exhale to open into Virabhadrasana two. Heel to arch alignment, fingertip to fingertip alignment. Knees traction towards the pinky edge toe. Take two deep breaths. Long shoulders onto the back, opening through the chest and heart center. Inhale, flip the front palm, reach forward just a tad. And exhale, sweep the right arm back, finding a reverse warrior, really making a lot of length and space on the right side body. Another inhale. Listen carefully, exhale to windmill the hands down, frame the front foot, pivot on the back toe. So now you're in a runner's lunge. And then shit's gonna get cray now, so please turn on your listening ears. Inhale, left hand plants, right arm goes high, open arm twist, traction the right hip back as you continue to lengthen and strengthen through the left. Fingertips go high. We're moving in, sorry, I just have to talk to you from the back of me, guys. <laughs> We're moving into side plank here. So Vashistasana, you have two options. You can take the modified version by dropping the left knee and swinging the right leg back in alignment. Or you can take the full expression by beginning to drop the knife edge of the left foot down as you lift the hips higher. Use the core here, your balance, your stability, slide the right foot back it stacks on top of the left as you lift high. Three breaths, everyone. You got this. Maybe I'm saying you got this because I need to get this. <laughs> Two more breaths. Reach through the fingertips. One more. Exhale the hand plants down. We're going to lower into chaturanga. You're always welcome to drop the knees. Inhale, shoulders past wrists. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, engage the belly, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Three deep breaths. Feel free to join me in opening the mouth and expelling heat. One more round of breath here. All right, same, same on the other side. Pivot the right foot to that 45 degree angle. Inhale the left leg back. Exhale, knee to nose, plant the foot. Build your base, so find what you need right here. Hug muscle to bone, energy through the back. Inhale, sweep those arms high. Virabhadrasana one. Lots of energy going on here. You guys know what to do. Rotate hips forward, hug hip points up, energy through the fingertips, stand tall and proud. Two more deep breaths. Next inhale, gently lift to open and exhale into Virabhadrasana two. Heel to arch alignment, roll shoulders onto the back. Two deep breaths. Easing out over that middle finger. Inhale, flip the palm, reach forward just a tad and exhale, take it back, reverse warrior. Lots of energy and space being made in the left side. Another inhale. Exhale, here we go. Windmill the hands down to frame the front foot. Pivot onto the ball of the back foot. You're in a runner's lunge. Right hand plants down, left arm goes high, open arm twist. 
And now we transition into Vashistasana. So choose your method. You're either dropping the knee to modify and swing the leg back, or you're working through the full expression. Here we go, full expression for me. You can follow along, begin to drop the knife edge of the right foot, lift the hips high, really engage here, gaze down for balance, slide the left foot back, find your Vashistasana. Three deep breaths. Lift those hips if you're all the way in the pose. Last inhale. Exhale, gaze down, left hand plants. We move through your version of a vinyasa. Inhaling into your heart opener. Exhaling back into your downward facing dog. And either staying here or taking child's pose or any pose you need for three deep breaths. I also invite you to grab water, like so. Two more rounds of breath, wherever you are. All right, guys, we're coming down now. Thank you for all that hard work. Inhale that right leg high. Exhale, bring it through for pigeon pose, kapotasana, right knee to right wrist, left foot comes across as you, or left, right toes come across to left wrist. Slide the left foot back, tent up onto your fingertips, get as many props as you need here, and lift through the crown of the head, reach back, stretch through the left hip flexor and psoas, and exhale to find your pose, your pigeon, coming down to a block or forearms, whatever it feels good. We got five really yummy breaths here. Sending all of the breath and the intention into the right hip, really telling it it's okay. Open up, I got you. I'm breathing, I'm here to support you. Letting the tension release letting fear go, building confidence, sustaining self-love and self-care, and knowing that the mat is always here for you and this community is here for you too. On an inhale, begin to walk the fingertips in. Take another one of those big breaths reaching up through the crown of the head. And then exhale to fall over onto your right hip. And then slide the left leg all the way around to plant outside of the right thigh for Ardha Matsya Andrasana. This is my favorite pose. If you suffer from sciatica or any type of piriformis issues, this is such a great pose to really get in there. So here we go. The left hand comes back as a kickstand. Inhale the right arm high. I choose to exhale and hug the knee in with the crux of my elbow. If you're not really worried about any type of low back issues, you can take the elbow across and take a really deep spinal twist. However, I like to hug elbow in and stay right here. This is what I need. So you choose what you need. Three deep breaths. Energy up through the crown of the head, intention in the spinal area, not letting the ego take place here. Another round of breath. Inhale to gaze forward. Exhale, release. Both legs come in front of you for Paschimottanasana. Move that fleshy bits out of the way. Feel your sitting bones ground down. Inhale the arms high. And exhale to forward fold. Find what you need here. Just because you can reach your toes doesn't mean you need to. Another inhale. Exhale where you need to be right now. Last round of breath. Inhale, gaze it forward and exhale, rise up to release. So we're gonna meet back in downward facing dog, two options. Swing the legs around, find your pose, or start to cross both ankles, lift up, 
and move through a vinyasa. So really lifting through the core, walking the feet back. Maybe you got that already. Hopping it back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale up, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale it back, Adho Mukha. And let's just go right to the other side. Left leg extends long behind you. Take it into the wrist, gliding the foot over towards the right wrist as you slide the right leg back. Get comfy, tent up onto the fingertips. Inhale, high. Really stretch into the right hip flexor, the psoas, finding that opening in the space there. And exhale to your version of Pigeon Pose. Walking the hands down, sending that intention, that breath to your left hip area. Breathing deep, staying present here in the moment, on the mat, in your body. Cleansing the mind, purifying the soul, coming back to one place, right? That's what we do here in yoga. We want to integrate the body and experience wholeness. Two more rounds of breath. Inhale, walk the hands in towards the body. One more big breath. Find that length. Exhale, roll onto the left hip as you slide the right leg around and plant it outside the left thigh for Ardha Matsya Andrasana. Right hand goes back as the kickstand. Inhale, the left arm high. Exhale, the hand hugs the knee in or crosses over the ankle for your twist. Gazing back over the right shoulder. Two rounds of breath. Practicing integrity here. Inhale to gaze forward, exhale, unwind the body and meet me on your back. If you want one more vinyasa, just go for it. Yeah, sometimes you just need it. If you want to roll down onto the back with me, here we go. Start to send the arms straight out in front of you, hug the belly in and slowly roll down, trying to stamp each vertebra. You'll probably start shaking and then let it go. All right, so coming into some bridge poses, we'll do two. Hands down by your sides, hug the heels in towards the glutes, hip width distance with the feet. On an inhale, draw the hips high up to the sky. If you want more, you can roll the shoulders under and lift the hips a little bit higher. Take three rounds of breath. Last round. Exhale, slowly unwind the body, undulating the spine down to the mat. That's a good word, right? Undulating. Windshield, windshield wiper the knees from side to side. Relaxing the low back. Coming back into a neutral. So two options here, actually three options. One, if you have a block and you want a more restorative pose, just slide the block under, letting the pelvis rest right on top really giving the low back a lot of space to reset. Coming into that bridge pose again, set to Bandhasana, or pushing up into wheel pose, Urdhva Dhanurasana if you're feeling real feisty. But on an inhale breath, I'm gonna come into bridge pose, drive into the heels, lift the hips high, three deep breaths. If you're in wheel, stay for five. Lifting those hips high to the sky. Last round. Wherever you are, slowly make your way back down, undulate the spine back to a neutral space. And this time take the feet as wide as the yoga mat and just let the knees knock in towards one another, letting the pelvis and the low back find a lot of neutrality. Starting to simmer down now. Letting the body integrate all that movement. And taking a final twist to each side, letting the knees drop over to the left. The left hand can rest atop of the right knee as the right arm goes out. Gaze wherever is comfortable for you. Mm. 
Inhale the legs back up through center. Use a little bit of core strength to do that. And exhale the knees over to the right. Left arm extends out long. Gaze where you're comfortable. And inhale back up to neutral. Hug the knees in for one last moment here. Try to hook both elbows, come into a tight little ball. Curl the forehead into the knees. Take an inhale breath. Exhale all the air out here. Inhale, open up. Coming into our Shavasana, our last pose, our most important pose. Making any micro movements you need to to get super comfortable here and quiet for the body, mind, and the soul. Making sure there's length in the back of the neck. Take a big inhale through the nose. Open your mouth, let it go. One more time, inhale through the nose, into the heart. Exhale, let everything go. Letting all the muscles relax and just drape over the bones here. Letting all the tension release, relaxing into the ground beneath you. Letting the jaw soften and the lips part and the tongue float. Eyeballs sinking deep into their sockets. Forehead completely softening. Letting everything become one, Shavasana. Slowly start to invite deeper breaths into the body. Feeling the rib cage expand. The collarbone broaden. The effects that that flow have taken on you. How more at peace you feel. Start to wiggle the fingertips, making micro movements with the body, circling ankles and wrists when you're ready. Inhaling the arms overhead, growing tall, extending through the feet. Exhaling onto your favorite side for fetal pose, scrunching up, savoring this last moment on your mat. And when you're ready, lifting up into a seated pose to officially end our practice. Bring hands to rest atop the thighs, growing tall through the crown of the head. Reflecting on how you feel in your body, the clarity you experience in your mind, and the purpose you feel in your soul right now Inhaling the arms out to the sides and overhead to touch. Exhaling them down through heart center, connecting thumb into the heart, the Anahata Chakra. Thank you so much for stepping on your mat with me, 
for letting me guide you through this flow today and for being a part of this community. Namaste, yogis. Hey journey goers, Allie here with a huge favor to ask you. If you love practicing yoga alongside me and want more of it, then please subscribe to the channel. By supporting me, you inspire my journey, which then I hope inspires yours. As always, thank you for stepping on the mat with me, for being a part of this community, and for making the commitment to live your journey.